This tutorial is going to show you a new feature in RWDECAL that allows you to either back up a route or alternatively at the end of your route creation process you may want to remove all the decals from the route so that you can package it up and distribute it to others. So I have Railworks up and running and here we have a test route. You can see I've got a number of decals placed here so these are lots of chunks all put together to make a area or mapped out. You can see I've just put a quick bit of track in there, some trees and road and houses in there. Uh, not a lot of detail but a little bit of detail. If we scroll around and over here we've got a full tile, a full decal so the ones on the left here are chunks and the one on the right is just one big decal of the same area. So if we pretend this is my finished route and what I want to do is delete all these tiles, uh, all these decals rather, so that I've just got my route left behind. Several reasons why you might want to do this. One of them is that decals take up a lot of file space and also if you distributed them as part of your route you would be breaking the Google Earth Terms of Service. So my first option would be just to select the decals and press delete but even for just such a small area I've got 20 or 30 uh, decals to delete there which is quite a time consuming process and there's a risk I might select the wrong thing and delete a scenery object rather than an actual decal. So a new feature of RW decal is that it can remove all these decals for you automatically. So I'm going to close down the railworks here, we won't save the changes and then we'll start off RW decal and in the file menu the two options, uh, new options are to create a backup or to remove decals which has the backup process as an option. So we select our route, this is our, my RW decal test route, I'm going to choose to back up the route and it's going to back up the route folder plus any of the assets for, uh, that are in the asset or source folder and then Nobkin's RW decal test. That's the currently configured RW decal um, product and developer folder. I can then choose to delete the uh, decals from the assets folder and optionally delete them from the source folder. Once you finish with the decals, you no longer need them, so you can just, uh, just delete them. However, if you use the bottom two options, although the decals will be removed from the root, only the files for chunks will be removed from the assets and source folder. So full decal files will be removed from the root, but will not be removed from these two folders. So I click the OK button. It warns me about the full decal and chunk uh, removal issue that we have. And we click OK. As you can now see, it's backing up my root. It creates a, uh, a zip file of all the files uh, relating to your route. Then it goes through each scenery file and removes any of the decals uh, that it finds within them. And then at the end it gives you a little report. So we click OK. If you want to look at the backup folder we can go File, Open Backup Folder. And when we do that you can see I've got a couple of backups in there. But the one I've just created is uh, it's this one here. And it's got the name of the route my developer, my product, and the date and time that the backup was created. If we open up that zip file, you can see we've got the assets, and the source folder, and a content folder, and here's the special folder name that Railworks uses for my route. So if I wanted to recover my route, I could just use this backup. If we uh, open up Railworks again, so we can uh, have a look at that route, and see if the decals have been removed, just have to wait a moment whilst it uh, Railworks loads up. Go into my route, and there's my test route again. Edit that route. Here we go. As you can see, all the decals are gone from the route, just leaving my scenery items. I say not very many of them, but a few scenery items are left behind uh, from the route. There is one uh, word of warning that you use the decal removal tool at your own risk. Um, it uh, does change the source files from your route, so it is strongly advised that you back up the route beforehand, so that if anything goes wrong, you can restore your route. So as I say, you use the decal removal tool at your own risk. That's the end of this tutorial.